Hi friends, welcome back. Today we will take a look at the taxi flows and uh, discuss some taxi techniques on the A320. I am Utkarsh, welcome to flight level 070. So the taxi that we know of commonly is not what I am going to talk about. Rather, maneuvering an aircraft on ground is what is called taxiing an aircraft. So we will take a look on the taxi flows and discuss some taxi techniques on the A320. I am rated on the Airbus A320 and I will be referring the FCOM and the FCTM to discuss the same topic. So let us go to the simulator and begin our session. Welcome to the simulator. After completing the auto start flows and uh, checklist, confirm the hand signals from the ground crew which ensures that they have moved away from the aircraft. So we will look to the left. We will assume there is a ground crew giving us uh, thumbs and pins. Thereafter, the CM1 will check the left side and announce clear left side. CM2 will check the right side and announce clear right side. The pilot monitoring will obtain taxi clearance. Thereafter, both crew will cross check from the taxi charts and confirm. Pilot flying will set the lights for taxi, nose light to taxi. If it is night time or LVO, then runway turn off light on. Release the parking brake and check that the brake pressure goes to zero. Aircraft should move without thrust. In case thrust is required, very little application is needed. Thereafter, we will perform the brake check for the same. The pilot flying will apply the brakes and the pilot monitoring will monitor the triple indicator for any indications of alternate braking. As of now, there is no indication, so we can assume that braking has reverted to normal braking. To taxi the aircraft, we use something called a tiller, which is similar to a steering wheel. So, I will give you a demonstration. This is left application, this is right application. Show you from the outside. This is left tiller, this is right tiller. Deflection can be up to 75 degrees. During tax you can perform the flight control check. It will be much easier to perform the same check while the aircraft is stationary. So we will set the parking brake on and we will perform the flight control check. First the pilot flying will do the flight control check. So we will apply full back pressure. Pilot monitoring will check the deviation and call out full up, whereas the pilot flying will look here for this small indicator moving all the way up. Then we will go full down. Pilot monitoring cross checks elevator movement, pilot flying looks here and pilot monitoring will call out full down. Thereafter we will return to neutral, then we will go full left looking at all the deflection and full right looking at all the deflections of aileron and spoiler. Then we will check the rudder. For the rudder, the pilot flying will press the disconnect push button so that the nose wheel is disconnected. Thereafter, go full left, full right, neutral. We will continue with our taxi. We will obtain ATC clearance if not done so by now. Based on the takeoff clearance, we will recompute the takeoff performance or change in any routing. Let us talk to ATC for a clearance. Flight level 070 is ready to copy departure clearance. Flight level 070, you are cleared to destination flight plan route, departure runway 27. After departure, climb 1000, turn right heading 330, initially climb level 60, squawk 2000. Thereafter, the pilot monitoring will read back the clearance. We will recompute the takeoff performance as per the AFB if there is any changes. Check the flight plan, pre-select the speed if required from the MCDU. 
cleared altitude set on the FCO. So, the pilot flying will set the altitude which was 6000 ATC heading if advice. So, we will set the heading to 330 as advised by ATC. We will check the PFD ND, climb in blue, nav has been disarmed, 1 FD 2, 6000, field elevation QNH 1013, heading 330 and this is uh, V1 and V2 displayed here. Check the ND, our heading is 180 as of now, this is the departure plan as of now, we will be turning right on heading 330 and climbing altitude 6000. Thereafter, we will reconfirm any changes to the takeoff brief and advise the crew for takeoff, pilot monitoring upon PF request can advise the crew, cabin crew to your seats for takeoff, confirm cabin clearance. Then we will begin with the taxi flows, the pilot monitoring will set the weather radar to on, predictive venture system auto. ATC code and mode set, so we will move to ATC. We will check the modes and set the ATC code if not done so by now. Terrain on ND as required, as of now we are not terrain critical, otherwise we can put terrain on uh, pilot monitoring and uh, weather on uh, pilot flying. Auto brake set to max and take off config test press and check that the takeoff config is normal and there is no blue memo on the takeoff. Now let us look at some taxi techniques. So I will enter the runway for the same. We can use the tiller to move the aircraft. So I will be moving the tiller and show how the aircraft responds. If I put the tiller to go left, the aircraft starts moving to the left. If I tell it to go right, the aircraft starts moving to the right. You have to be gentle while controlling the tiller as it is sensitive and it is an algebraic sum from both sides. Let us line up on the runway following the yellow line. So keep on turning right. I will discuss how do we know that we are on the center line. So for that you need to check that the center line falls between the PFD and the ND. So I will align the aircraft for center line and then we will check the same. So if this is the runway center line, I will put to, so if this is the runway center line, I will try to put this over the center line. So, uh, start looking at the far end, come all the way down and put this in line with the center line. Let us discuss a 180 turn on the runway. So, if CM1 is carrying out the taxiing of the aircraft, then he will taxi on the right side of the center line. So, we will start moving right of the center line. Once you are on right of the center line, you align parallel of the center line. Now, let us say our heading is 270, we will go left by 20 to 25 degrees. So, we will go to a heading of 245, 250. Now, the CM1 will go far off ensuring that he is over the edge of the runway. Thereafter, initiate a right turn if required using asymmetric thrust and ensuring full right tiller. Thereafter, as you start coming back towards the center line, start reducing the tiller angle and get the aircraft back onto the center line. If CM2 is carrying out the taxi, 
then it will just be a mirror image of the same procedure. That's all for now. We'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. This video will be in continuation of the flows playlist for which I'll leave a link in the description below. Please follow us on Instagram and share these videos as much as you can. Take care until next time.